Uh, hi everybody, my name is Armin Fetalagin and I am sitting here today with Greg Zakowski, First AD Extraordinaire. Uh, hi Greg, thanks for joining me. How's it going Armin? I'm good. So, um, uh, you've been an AD on countless films and TV shows, so what exactly does a first assistant director do? Um, it's a big question. We are the head cat wrangler, we are the babysitters, the lifeguard, the shepherds, um, are some of the things that you'll hear people say when they're describing the job, but we are an on-set producer. Uh, we are responsible for scheduling, budgeting, returns of equipment, safety, um, motion, problem solving. The success of the day rides on us. Uh, it's not uncommon to see new directors placed with experienced first ADs and the producers will come up and go, just get them through. Um, we have to know what everybody does, we have to know how they do it, and we know how to help them when they run into problems. We are uh, the first mate on a ship, uh, if you were to compare it in military terms, you'll, you'll see those movies where the lieutenant comes in fresh out of college and they assign him to a, a platoon and there's a sergeant that knows how to run everything. I'm that guy, <laughs> you know. Um, hopefully I'm not nearly as uh, crusty as some of the sergeants in the movies, but we are the reason why the day gets done. So, um, so how does your job change from uh, pre-production to production to post? Well, um, in pre-production, you'll, in a very early phase of the game, specifically if it's a, a movie, for example, you may find the financing for a film, and it will come to you and go, hey, we're going to give you uh, a budget, but we need to know how does that budget relate to time? How does it quantify into a shooting schedule? Do you need 40 days, 80 days, 50 days, 30 days? How, much, how many days of shooting do you need? So we'll read through the script and work with you in early in the process so you can use, if you were a producer, and we would help you schedule and budget it. And oftentimes a lot of guys in my position will also budget it as well because we're fast in both. And so we have a very good sense of how things cost, how long it takes to do them, and how much money you should allocate. Now understand that it's a malleable process because I've been hired on projects as a first AD to help schedule long before they have a director, an actor, or even a production designer on to tell me, well, okay, so it says scene 36, they drive through the battle, end of scene. What does that mean? That could mean any number of things. It could be two guys running down an alley, two gunshots, and we're done. Or it could be a very huge battle scene. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the classic is in, in the movie Gone with the Wind, it says, and Atlanta burns. There's a big, that's a big shot there. That's not a small line. So it's, it's interpretive. It's understanding and getting to know the material. Then, once the budget is approved and we're making the film, we continue that process, refining the how of how it's going to get done. And the easiest way to think about it is, is you know, um, what if I were to say the color blue, your version of blue is going to be different than his version of blue and the, the, that cameraman's version of blue. Everybody's different. But we need to have one wall painted blue. Which version? Now we have to decide. Now everybody has an opinion. Um, and then you have to have to take the time to paint that wall and then get rid of the wall and so on and so forth. And then the DP may come on a board. And then the costumer comes in and says, oh, I was going to put the actor in a blue dress. All right, we don't like blue anymore. <laughs> now, do you change the dress, which they've already fitted to an actress and she now loves, or do you change the wall, which is key to the furniture, which the costume, the uh, production designer has already ordered, which complements the wall. Now she's sitting in a blue dress on a blue couch in front of a blue wall. Nothing, it, it all falls apart. So my job is to coordinate all these essentially separate efforts and to keep them communicating with each other all the way through post. We oversee scouting. Uh, we oversee all the extras. So if you and I were in a train station and behind us there was a thousand people getting on trains, that would be my department. We're responsible for, uh, as I mentioned before, the safety and the organization of it all. So if in that conversation at a train station behind us, a car was going to fly through a window and land in there, I would make sure that the stunt coordinator and the special effects and probably the, VF, the VFX, special effects and visual effects are involved so that the whole thing coordinates in such a way that we have success. It's very easy to sort of say, well, I did my job, I scheduled it, that happens on that day. <laughs> but those that have done this a while know that it's not that simple. You can't just, you know, I did my part, why aren't you ready? Because now you've got to sit through the pain of watching it fall apart on set. And, and nobody wants that. You right. want to succeed. Now, once you get through that preparation process of organizing it all and taking the production meetings 
and working with the director and all these different facets, all the different departments, you then get into the production of the film. And on a daily basis, my job is to run the shoot from the moment we say it's call time, it's 7 a.m., we're all here, to wrap. The wrap could be 8 or 9 o'clock at night, and at that point then, the homework begins because every night you go back, you've got to prep for the next day's work. So a typical working day can be quite long, specifically on feature films. Um, when you get to post, I'm done. <laughs> I wash my hands. And, you know, nobody wants to, to carry a first idea to post. At that point, you have a post supervisor, you have a post production uh, producer, somebody like that, that'll take over. Uh, on the production side, the production manager will wind down the office, pay off the bills, make sure everything's returned, any liabilities are taken care of. And um, but I'm hopefully on another job by then.